Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Friday, so don't forget, tomorrow Saturday we have the live stream that should start around 3 p.m. Portuguese time, Western European time, GMT plus one, you guys name it, I will tell you. So, uh, Friday we have been having lately for the last few hours, maybe one, two hours, a bit of a rise in price action, and of course, Today we are going to have uh, the usual analysis, but not so extended one, because today I want to introduce you also to another thing I've been studying in the past uh, weeks, but I never mentioned it in the videos. Uh, I'm also going to do some on-chain analysis, and today I will show you guys uh, one or two charts that I've been following, and which I consider genius charts, one by Willy Woo, and the other one by Plan B. Uh, I'm sure you guys know them already, and so we will start, but before that, if you enjoy the content on this channel, gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, don't forget the bell icon to select all when uh, notifications when I upload the video or start a stream so you'll be notified when that happens so let's go uh, also just before that I was almost forgetting I just put on the screen the telegram group for this channel where people join together to debate Bitcoin and other cheat coins uh, 24 hours a day and you can go there and of course talk to me when I'm not uh, live streaming uh, I am there every day, of course, not 24 hours a day, but when I'm there, you can talk to me and you can also debate other topics with the people there 24 hours a day. So don't forget, this is the link here uh, on the screen. You can join the Telegram group. Okay, and now let's go to screen share and let's start by the price to time model. I guess there's nothing really new to show you guys from the last time we saw it on the video. Exactly, so the week is still on the red, but, uh, and we are still a bit delayed comparing to the 2017 cycle, of course, but uh, we have some different news for you just a bit later. Uh, continue to watch this video because you will enjoy something I have to tell you about the on-chain analysis. The RSI again continues below the 2013 mid-cycle top level which is the orange dashed line and we continue pointing down so uh, let's see how this evolves but um, I bet that really really soon we are going to see some changes on Bitcoin price action okay let's go to the crypto total the crypto total continues to wait to validate the second range boundary of course here at the support context we went down just for a by a hair then we immediately recovered and we are now consolidating and accumulating around this area here and let me see if i can leave the price there so uh so we are now around 1.38 trillion we were already around 1.4 45 and the lowest of the accumulation is 1.3 so i would say we are exactly in the middle of this consolidation and accumulation phase after having this really really low just uh, cutting the support context by a hair here which also increased to the downside the support context that started at the beginning of the month of course now the new support context is around 1 trillion 0.05 and it goes to 900 billion so we have a new support context for the crypto total but i guess if we continue to go up to validate the second range boundary the probable uh the most probable direction of the price or the market cap in this case is going to be up facing the first big resistance around the 50 percent uh, line of the context channel which is a 50 percent between the top of the of uh, the context channel which is the resistance and the bottom which is the support however we also have the trend channel navigating inside the context which is the red and the green zigzag lines here so we are being supported at this point by the trend channel around 1.1 trillion and resistance around 1.8 8 trillion so let's see how this evolves we of course will have to wait some time to validate this as a second range boundary but but it's very likely to happen 
so that's the crypto total uh just the pro momentum just a, a few words about the pro momentum as you guys know we have been in oversold territory for the pro momentum now we are exactly on top of that line that separates the normal territory from the oversold so that means that the probabilities of increasing up are much higher and you guys see the bull the bulls here having some strength on that beginning of the movement up okay so right now we have to wait here and we are still not validated as a second range boundary but this accumulation is very likely to send us uh, steadily and slowly to the upside uh, i'm not i'm going to jump the dominance and i'm just going to talk about the monthly chart here now at the mri strategy and i already said several times as you guys remember that this uh structure this structure that we are seeing here so we had this big drop and then uh, a, a very volatile candle here showing that bulls and bears were fighting a lot for this level and then another uh, retest of the bottom for this period of course but as you guys can see there is a big big candle then a, a smaller one and then an even smaller one creating this kind of rounded structure that could indicate a reversal if not this month but probably next month in a few weeks to the upside and now this is where the on-chain analysis comes and i was checking some charts uh, because as you guys know we don't guess the future in this channel we only analyze the present and what might happen based on the past so we have to analyze on chain also in in uh, coordinated with this kind of ta that uh, we have been doing here to try to understand what might happen soon or not so soon maybe in a medium distant future so let's see what probably could happen so this is the monthly chart but stay on the video because you will see that i will corroborate this idea with some on-chain analysis very very soon okay so let's just take a look at the weekly the weekly continues to be an ugly ugly chart we are being supported by the 50 period sma right now and by the 31.530 uh, thirty thousand dollars level of support which has been supporting also since january this big drop we had uh on the second and third week of january and then we had this big volatile candle here that sent us again up so i i am i am feeling confident that we are reaching a point in this accumulation of bitcoin that will definitely have a big move really soon so um this is the of course the weekly chart the rsi continues to go sideways just pointing down here for a bit because of this red candle the macd continues to be bearish however however the bars continue to decrease the size and continue to be light red indicating that the bearish momentum could be losing this uh, its strength so that's it for the weekly let's just take a look quickly at the daily and the daily shows that today we have been reversing the price action despite this sell signal that we had yesterday we had this sell signal but i guess the support around this level is very very strong and we also made a higher low as compared to the previous two uh, lows that we had the, the previous two swing lows we had on the daily chart one here then a higher low and now a new higher low that invalidated these two that i mentioned before a few videos ago but however this higher low is still higher than the previous swing low which is this one so these two were invalidated but this one did not go below that one there uh, this one here so actually it's still continuing to make higher lows and this is a very 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 good signal also the 20 period sma and the 50 period sma are still here exactly on top of the candles and we will have this to face this as first resistance if we want to at least engulf the previous candle and close the day above the opening price for this red candle here so if that happens it would be a very very good sign to start the weekend and it could indicate a short-term reversal on the price action which everyone is actually expecting to happen okay 
So on the daily chart, that's it. The RSI is pointing up because of this reversal of the price action, but we need to close this green candle above the opening of the red candle. The MACD is very, very close. The blue line is very, very, very close of, uh, to the orange line. The gap has been closing, but I guess if we have a reversal here entering the weekend and then uh, we don't have those um, completely stupid drops that uh, sometimes happened on weekends, I guess the blue line is again going to increase the gap uh, between them and this will continue to be on the green side. Although the bars have been decreasing a bit, but I guess if we have a reversal of the price action here, we could also continue to see the bars increasing again and not showing bear momentum on the MACD. So that's it for the daily. <clears throat> Sorry for that, guys. Let's just check the four hour quickly to see how the BitMEX funding rate is. And of course, the price action reversing to the upside. You have some longs already. And this is 0 0.007. It's not a very high number, so it will not influence so much the spot market at this moment. But I guess if the candles continue to rise very, very quickly, this will increase in size like crazy as usual. The vultures of the leverage trading are already waiting for that opportunity. And I bet they have the money on the side lines just waiting for us to cross the uh, on the four hours at least all the moving averages are together and we have to cross them so we have the 20 period sma we have the 50 and we have the 100 and the 200 is just there above uh, a bit more above of this level here so we now are fighting to uh, of course cross all the three moving averages to the upside it will not be so easy and we also have a level of resistance around the 34 and 800 dollars so let's see how that goes and then after that we have the 200 sma so a lot of resistances right now to cross but i guess this uh this uh, short-term momentum on this candle here indicates that someone is very very interested in buying bitcoin and so interested that they could buy it even with a sell signal so the momentum was to the downside but uh, the this uh, purchase of bitcoin in the last few hours was able to reverse the price action and create this beautiful candle we see here just waiting to uh, explode to the upside here breaking all the resistances but now i want to go back to the monthly chart leave it there and you guys remember i was talking about this structure that indicates that we could have this rounded bottom around this level and in the next month or even the two uh, two months from now we could start to see reversal of the price action again to the upside even if not this month already, but I my bet would be that we have to wait to the end of July to start to see something really, really good happen. So it's just three more weeks. Uh, so let's see when this happens. But I want to change to the on-chain analysis I was seeing before. And I'm going, of course, to my account on Glassnode. So on Glassnode, I have the uh, three charts that I usually study and I have not been discussing them before because I really wanted to understand what's happening there. But one of the most important ones, of course, is the Bitcoin difficulty ribbon. And this one was created by Willy Wu, that genius that you all, uh, you, uh, all know from the on-chain analysis. And this is the one I really wanted to talk today and of course i'm going to increase this so you guys can see the complete history history of bitcoin here and i'm going to zoom it a bit so you guys can see it better and so what this uh what does this mean this ribbon here so this is the difficulty so what what willie would try to do here was i'm going to uh use the chart of the bitcoin price and i don't know if you guys can see it very well but the gray line is of course the complete history of price action in bitcoin and then you have these ribbons on top so this gray line here is the price of bitcoin since 2010 11 around that period and then willy Wu created those ribbons which are in fact moving averages and the moving averages are the 200 uh, 128 90 60 40 25 14 9 days uh, for the difficulty mining mining difficulty so 
What this means is that the ribbons are actually based on the mining difficulty of Bitcoin. And then he decided to compare that ribbon with the price action. And what you guys can see is every time we have enlargement in between the ribbons, in between the lines of the moving averages, this is when the price is rising. And when we have compression of that ribbon and all the lines come together and if not even on top of each other, this is the best uh, time to buy Bitcoin. So if you compare that, we have compression and we have a bottom. So compression of the ribbon here. And you guys can even notice that the fastest moving average, which is the blue line, even crossed the red line which is the slowest moving average in the ribbon. And then when they compress so much and even cross on top of each other, we have a bottom. Then we had another compression here. And this was the bottom uh, before the 2017 top. So big, big compression on the ribbon here. And then after the 2017 top we had another compression and blue line crossing again to the downside and staying below the red line of the moving averages and that indicates again exactly the bottom of that period of that cycle after 2017 so this is the bottom of 2019 already sorry 2018 yeah 2018 just december 2018 and then you have another compression here just after the COVID situation in March 2020. And then if you zoom this and you can just come here on Glassnode and you can select the period you want to see. And let's, let's see the period in between the top of 2017 and the probable top or I would call it local top because I'm still not convinced that this cycle is over, the bull cycle. And you guys can see exactly what I was saying. So the blue moving average crossed to the downside of the uh, red one, which is the 200. And the blue is the nine days. So after this big compression here, and when they crossed to the downside, we had the bottom, which happened in December 2018 and took us around $3,000. Then we had another one here. It didn't exactly cross because this was a very, very fast move of the price action. And this corresponds to the COVID uh, being public. Uh, so all the news uh, outlets an announcing that there is a pandemic and COVID uh, going around the world and stuff like that. So the, we had this big crash. And this corresponds to March 2020. And here, this was a bit laggy because the drop was so fast that the ribbons could not keep up. But in fact, the blue just crossed on top of the red. And then after that, we didn't have this kind of decompression of the ribbon. So all this big space in between the moving averages of the mining difficulty have not happened for this top. But we still had the crossover again of the blue line uh, below the red line. So if you guys want to see what's happening right now, and don't forget this image. This is really important. This part of the ribbon indicating the bottom of 2018 in December. And now I'm going to zoom in here. Actually, it's the first time I zoom in so much on this chart. And look where we are. Completely inversed ribbon. So the ribbon is completely inversed right now. And the blue line is a lot below the red line. So if we go back again and you guys can compare it to the other, let's put it two years. Two years is not enough. Let's put it three years. And you guys can see that the blue ribbon now below the price action, of course, but you guys can see down there the blue ribbon exactly marked the bottom of that cycle. And if you compare it with this one now, I think it looks very, very similar. So comparing that to what I showed you guys before, 
here and saying that this price structure is trying to show us that it will be a bottom if we continue this price action and we will start to reverse to the upside. And then I look at, of course, this chart by Willy Wu, on-chain analysis genius, and I see that the ribbon indicates precisely where the bottom was in 2018, and I see exactly the same formation for the ribbon now. Guys, I can tell you one thing, one of my conclusions, of course, we are very, very close to see a reversal of the market to the upside. That is my conclusion. Looking at TA, looking at the price structure on the monthly chart, looking at the difficulty ribbon of Bitcoin created by Willy Wu, uh, I would say that this indicates we are very, very close to see a reversal of the price action. And that is my analysis for today. I will just go back to my dashboard here. Uh, also would like to show you just something to finish this video. Of course, plan B's stock to flow ratio. And as you guys can see, this also indicates we are very, very distant from the mean, which is the white line. And this is where we should be. Uh, the white line is where we should be. And you guys can see here that we are very, very distant because we are on this green spot. So all the indicators and the on-chain analysis tell me that we are very, very close to see a price reversal to the upside. And that is probably right now we are currently leaving the, uh, the bottom after this 55% correction. So this is the analysis I wanted to show you guys. I've been trying to join together my kind of analysis. So my two indicators, my two main strategies with some on-chain analysis. I chose one of the charts by Willy Wu. I've been studying also different charts by Willy Wu, uh, not just that one. But I wanted to show this one today because the, uh, the compression of the ribbon is significantly higher than in other periods and also the difference between the so the ribbon inversed and we now have the red line on top and the blue line very very low as compared to the red so it's it's going in a very steep uh, inclination and that might indicate that the the market is about to change and i bet this will happen if not in july by the end of july this will happen around august and that is my timeline, at least from what I can see and conclude from the charts I've been analyzing. That is my timeline for a reversal of this bottom on the market. OK, guys, let me just stop screen share. So I hope you enjoyed the content today uh, and this new edition of the on-chain analysis to uh, complement the technical analysis that I usually do on the videos. I hope you enjoy that content. I uh, And for that, I hope you guys gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget the bell notification icon and select all so you get notified every time I upload a video. And now I'm also going to put here on the screen the Telegram group. Don't forget to join the Telegram group because everyone is there debating and getting my news when I'm not of course, recording a video or live streaming. So don't forget to subscribe to the Telegram group and join us there. And I hope you enjoy the content today. And of course, don't forget tomorrow is the live stream around 3 p.m. Portuguese time. And we will, you guys will be able to interact with me to post, to post questions on the chat. And I will, of course, in real time, answer every question you put there. So uh, again, as usual, I will just leave you with the wise words. All right, let's roll. Hey. Let's be careful out there. That's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the market. See you all tomorrow in the live stream. Bye bye.